Do you think he can jump all those buses? I don't know. Ready, Charlie? Ready! Vroom! Vroom! how my handlebars could come off. I super looped everything this morning and tightened all my bolts. Hmm, that's strange. <laughs> hey, it's... it's some... thing! Some creepy thing crawled out from your bike and ran away. I didn't see anything. Did you get a photo of me in action? Great! Catfish is going to be so impressed. Catfish? Catfish Rebel, the man with nine lives. My hero, the world's greatest stuntman. I'm sure you've heard of him. Here's Catfish Rebel in his world record attempt to jump 40 double-decker buses. And here he is after the attempt. A little worse for wear. And who can forget his world-famous jump over the Great Egyptian Pyramid? Fantastic! And here he is after his world-famous jump over the Great Egyptian Pyramid. Ew. Ooh. Oops, that's a photo of a squished snail from my science project. Don't know how they got in there. You get the idea. This is the greatest guy of the century. And he's coming to our town tomorrow. I have just got to meet him and get a photo of the two of us together. Seven, eight. Mona, are you listening? Hate to tell you this, Charlie, but the man with nine lives has had eight serious death-defying accidents. Eight! What? One more failed stunt, and the man with nine lives is all out of lives. But what gets me is, why him? Why is he being victimized by fate? Maybe because he keeps doing death-defying stunts? No, that's not it. I suspect Catfish has been the victim of some prankster ghoulie. Nothing like working on these old six-cylinder engines. Hey, Clem. Uh, I brought my bike. Your bike, huh? <laughs> Let me have a look. Watch, Watch out! out! <laughs> look! Did you guys see that creepy thing driving the car? What was it? I don't know what it was, but it's obviously up to no good. I'm worried, Charlie. We've already seen two mechanical mishaps. <laughs> Watch out! <laughs> oh, make that three mechanical mishaps. have an emergency meeting back at Zatman's headquarters. I want to check something out. Okay, spin your eyes and make everything blurry. There it is! I see it! And in this photograph? Charlie, can you turn this one upside down and enlarge it? Perfect. Now then. Everyone squint and close one eye. Whoa. Wow! It's a mechanical mayhem gremlin. They're attracted to anything mechanical. And I think this one has been dogging catfish throughout his entire daredevil career. And then showing up here, the day before catfish is going to jump. That's the only explanation. He goes where catfish goes, gets into town a day early, explores the jump site, and has some fun. This gremlin does his homework. This is terrible! The man with nine lives is doomed! I have to help him! Don't worry, Charlie. I'll find a way to stop this pesky gremlin and save Catfish. I promise. Thanks, Mona. That's terrific! What are you gonna do? I don't know. I just didn't want Charlie to worry. Mona, are you all right? Mona? Huh? Oh, mm, yeah. 
I'm using the internet to find information on how to capture or immobilize a mechanical mayhem gremlin. You sure have your work cut out for you. Uh, try monsterextermination.com. Really? Thanks, Dad. Ten more minutes of monster research and then lights out, okay? Uh-huh. Night, Mona. Here's the site. Steak for a vampire. Silver bullet for a werewolf. Sewer ghoul. Cheap perfume. Hmm. Never knew that. I found it! I found it! Gremlins can be exterminated with... Hey! That's weird. I can't wait to meet him. I'm gonna tell him he's the greatest guy in the world. I'll tell him I'm a daredevil as well. And he and I will talk about our chosen professions like a couple of best friends. Wow! That's his bike! Hey, you kids! Get away from my bike! Cat, 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 cat. Hello, Mr. Cat. Catfish. Cat. I'm Mona, this is Lily, and this here is Charlie, your greatest fan, and also a fearless daredevil like yourself. Fearless? Well, you got that right. Daredevils eat fear for breakfast. Cat, 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 cat. I think what Charlie's trying to say is, hello, pleased to meet you. And he'd like for you to sign his autograph book. Maybe you'll all buy commemorative T-shirts for your families and friends. We're also selling autograph photos after the daredevil jump. Couldn't we get the photo before you jump? Actually, Mr. Catfish, we're here to persuade you not to jump. You see, we counted up your death-defying stunts and discovered... you've already used up eight of your lives. Eight! And you are the man with only nine lives. Yeah, I have had a string of bad luck in my career, but... I've got to be a daredevil. I can't believe I froze! He must think I'm a total goofoid. He's going to jump. But he can't! We have to save him! Did you find a way to stop the mechanical mayhem, Gremlin? Uh, dishwashing liquid. Like in the commercial with the dirt gremlins. Dishwashing liquid will get the job done. And I thought you only promised because you didn't want me to worry. Thanks, Mona. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Super Lube Motorfest Jamboree and our main attraction, the man with nine lives. And now our own Officer Halcroft will demonstrate bicycle and motorcycle safety. Over there. First, Officer Halcroft will start his bike safely and slowly demonstrate how one should use hand signals to stop at a red light. <laughs> Remember, boys and girls, drive like Get ready with the dishwashing liquid. And now it's time for the world famous Man with Nine Lives, brought to you by Super Lube, the only mechanical oil. And now, here is the incredible, the amazing, the extraordinary, the one and only Catfish! And stick around, folks, because right after the show, Reverend Gregory will show off his antique motorcycle. The Gremlin! Catfish! Watch out! I've got to save him! Uh-oh. We have to save them. Let's go, Reverend uh, Gregory! Uh, okay. Whoa! Mechanical mayhem gremlins are allergic to water. Going into the water sure helped us stop. 
Good thinking, Mona. Ah! Hold on tight, Charlie! Oh. We did it! Way to go, Charlie! Woohoo! Yahoo! <laughs> no, Mona. All the evidence supports the theory that defective super lube was causing the mechanical mayhem. That's one theory. But how do you explain Catfish's previous accidents? He never used super lube before. I want to thank you all for helping me. I realize now that the mechanical mayhem gremlin has been tormenting me through my whole career. Now I'm free. And Charlie, from one daredevil to another, I want you to have this trophy and be the president of my fan club. The mighty Turnip. Turnipus mightius, as the ancient Joelians called this versatile vegetable. Doesn't the sight of it just fill you kids with awe? <coughs> and take a look at this free-growing Simonized pea. It's the largest in three counties. And here we have an oversized radish. And over here are some really big carrots. Hey, check it out. Super broccoli. It's a kid's worst nightmare. No, this tour of Mrs. Vanderplatt's greenhouse is a kid's worst nightmare. Now, now, kids. I think this tour is a rather nice lead up to tomorrow night's town picnic. Besides, the school's over budget. It was either this or a field trip to the magical house of styrofoam. Styrofoam's looking pretty good right about now. Look! This yam has a face! Mrs. Vanderplatt, how'd you get them to grow so big? Why, I'll show you. This is my secret, a special fertilizer I imported from outer regions of Mongolia. Guaranteed to grow the biggest and best fruits and vegetables. And with its help, I'll be looking at another first prize potluck entry at tomorrow's town picnic. Now hold on to your hats, kids. Next stop, a little something I like to call artichoke heaven. This much enriched soil can't be good. You should have seen this yam. It looked almost human. Except for the fact that it didn't have any arms or legs or hair or ears for that matter. But aside from that, it looked almost human. Well, Mrs. Vanderplatz's food is always the hit of the picnic. Boy, those guava mango tarts she made last year were fantastic. Mona, I'd forget about Mrs. Vanderplatz's vegetables and start concentrating on what you're going to bring to the picnic. You did say you wanted to bring something this year, didn't you? Oh, right. I did, didn't I? What is wrong with that cat? Scared Fang? It's just lightning. It only hurts golfers. Uh oh. Lightning and super enriched fertilizer. Not a good mix. Wow! My prized vegetables destroyed! I have nothing, nothing. Even my sack of Outer Mongolian fertilizer is gone. So what did this sack of Outer Mongolian fertilizer look like? Gosh, that was some storm. The storm didn't do this. It was a renegade mutant yam. How do you figure? Well, late last night, a bolt of lightning hit the greenhouse.
That yammering yam almost got clean away. Almost. What have you got there, Mona? A clue. It's the movie section from yesterday's paper. Check out this ad for the Celery Stalkers, playing at the Megaplex. The Yam is obviously doing a little research for its evil master plan. What master plan? That's what we're gonna find out. Come on. Excuse me, have any gigantic vegetables gone inside? How big? Oh, about six feet tall. Hmm, I don't think so. But my shift just started. Four tickets, please. So I says to Show's over, Veggie Boy! Great googly muggly, what's going on down here? Huh? All right, you four, let's go. Out of the theater. Hey, wait a sec. You got down here awful quick. Almost as if you were just waiting to get rid of us. Don't let him get away! Boy, for a big guy, he moves fast. Hey, Charlie, what's on your shoe? It's nothing but an old electrical bill. An electrical bill? Of course! Now it all makes sense! It does? The Yammering Yam destroyed Mrs. Vander Platt's greenhouse to cover up its master plan. Come on, if I'm right, its next stop will be the power plant. Why would an oversized root vegetable be interested in electricity? It's planning to recreate its horrible electrified mutation and animate an oversized veggie army. All it needs is electricity and that sack of Mongolian fertilizer. Mr. Applegumby, the only way to stop this unspeakable evil is by cutting the town's power supply until further notice. As president of this fine company, I know you'll do the right thing. What did you call this thing? A yammering yam, sir. Though interestingly enough, it only yammers in its yam form. When it's in disguise, it talks quite normally. I know it's strange, but... Yam? Yeah. Um, better known as a sweet potato. Except there's nothing sweet about this potato. Yeah. Great googly moogly. I've heard enough. Luella, get me security. Yeesh, what a sore head. Makes you want to switch over to coal heating. Hey, that's an idea. I'm going to protest by canceling my family's electric service. Uh, maybe you better check with your parents first. Mr. Applegumby, I... It's the Yammering Yam in another brilliant disguise! <laughs> wow, look at him go! We've got to find the real Mr. Applegumby and tell him about the Yammering Yam before... Uh-oh! But you don't understand. That wasn't the real Mr. Applegumby who called you. We never even met him. Thanks for coming. See you at the town picnic. You guys will be there tonight? Of course. The electric power company is sponsoring the picnic with free lights and electricity. Of course. What better place to seek revenge than a picnic where us humans will be devouring its kind? I'm going home first. I'll meet you guys there. 
done. Let's go. Mona. Ready. This year's potluck first prize goes to Mrs. Vanderplatz for her delicious squished banana maple muffins. Come on. Now remember, we jump Apple Gumby the second he gets off the stage. Great googly moogly first prize. Did she just say googly moogly? Should I say Yammering Yam? <laughs> Come get it while it's hot. Yummy Yammering Yam. Line up, no pushing. There's plenty for everyone. 